Throughout the course of this video, we are going to talk about hard buttons and soft or virtual buttons. The hard buttons are exactly that. They are the five buttons on either side of the actual multiplex unit. The soft or virtual buttons are what you are going to press on the display screen. DC hard button. The DC button gives you complete control of the 12 volt loads. This is where you can monitor the battery levels as well as charge status of the batteries if found. The charger virtual button changes the status of the battery charger. When 110 volt electricity is provided, the charger can be activated. Press the charger virtual button to change from disabled to one of the other charge functions. The most common charging rates will be bulk, absorb, and floating charge. The inverter virtual button activates the inverter system on the motorhome. The inverter is used to provide 110 volt AC electricity by converting the coach battery's 12 volt DC electricity. The inverter allows you to use the TVs, refrigerators, microwave and select outlets throughout the motorhome. The inverter is only needed if no generator or shoreline power is available. The lower right hand corner of the DC page has a virtual button labeled inverter charger settings. Pressing this button shows you low battery cutout. Here you set the voltage where the inverter will stop working based on the battery voltage. BAC dropout. This is how you set the AC voltage when the inverter will stop working. Shore breaker size. This sets the size of the campground breaker. Max charge rate lets you set the percentage of maximum charge. This page provides a virtual button for the IC BAT option. Press this button to bring up the battery settings option. Here, the type and amperage hours for the battery are configured. The virtual buttons change these settings. It is important to know the battery type if changing these settings. The batteries installed at the factory are lead acid flooded type batteries. Other battery types available on the market are gel, AGM and AGM2 type. The charging system is not configured and does not support the installation of lithium battery types. Remember, the type and size have been preset at the factory and do not require any changes unless the house batteries in the motorhome have been changed. 